Hey, so we just got to Ekbalam, which is about 30 minutes north of Valladolid, and we just took a colectivo that took, um, yeah, like 20, 30 minutes, and it was 70 pesos per person, and really easy to get here from Valladolid. And right now we're just approaching the entrance to Ekbalam, which is a really cool temple complex, Mayan temple complex. And I'll show you what it looks like once we go inside. And this is the entrance area. So you walk up from the parking lot here and have all these really cool plants on the side. So here's some murals they have right in front of the entrance. Cool jaguars. So Ekbalam. So we just walked into Ekbalam, the entrance, and it was uh, about 530 pesos per person. And that includes a few different fees, and then plus a $50 or 50 peso fee for carrying a GoPro and a camera to film. And so the main entrance is just this pathway so far, and we're just walking along looking for temples. So. It's shady so far. Yeah, it's nice and shady this whole little walk. And then there's a cenote nearby too that we can walk to after um, exploring some of the temples. It feels really nice. There's like a breeze and... I think some of those big tour groups are just leaving too, so it is midday heat. But um... So yeah, it's about noon right now and I can see like two big buses almost leaving. So, and I was reading that a lot of big tours get here uh, like mid-morning. And so, um, since they get here mid-morning, they probably leave in like two, three hours, which is around noon or one. So if you come anytime after that, you'll kind of experience the temples by yourself. And uh, we don't know yet, but yeah, so. It's cool, so this is the first temple that you see when you walk in. And so these temples you can walk on and climb, which is kind of cool. A lot of them you can't when you're near Tulum. Yeah, I was also reading that these, there's evidence that these started construction in 500 to 300 BC. So these are pretty old. It's cool, you can climb up. You can see people on the top of that one. Pretty cool. <laughs> There's a taller temple over there I can see. I don't know if that's the tallest one or not. No, this is like a room. These are cool. All these different stairs you can go up. Made it to the top. <laughs> Probably different getting back down. So you can see this is like a first example of carvings. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera. Yeah, this 
temple complex is known for having really nice carvings at the tops of certain temples, so hopefully we'll see those in a little bit. There's more carvings. <laughs> the little room. <laughs> so now we're gonna go to the tallest temple. Um, it's temple of Torres. I forget the name of it. I'll see it when we get there, but it's the tallest one you can see from here. And um, from there we can see the rest of the whole complex. Yeah, these trees are really nice. Cool little paths between all the different temples. And overall, there's not that many people here. Like, you don't feel like you're in a crowd or anything, so that's pretty nice. I was reading that Chichen Itza and all those other temple complexes get pretty crowded, so this one's pretty chill. That might also be because it's one of the most expensive ones to get into, so I don't know. I like how all these temples have little rooms you can go into. <laughs> Plants growing on them. So this is one of the bigger temples and when you climb up you can see all the different carvings at the top. They have like palapas built over them so that they're protected. But yeah, we'll go up there and look. So all these trees have really cool philodendrons growing up them. Very jungly. Yeah, I love this landscape, this Mayan jungle look. Really cool. This tree is cool. It's really thorny. <laughs> so throughout the complex you see all these like foundations from smaller temples. Really cool. Cool. At the base of every tree, there's different plants growing up, and there's bamboo, different palms. Really cool. This is really cool. All right, we're gonna start climbing this, but first stop is this carving. So that's like more clear of a carving than the first one we looked at. There's some more. Like right up there as well. That's really cool. So we're gonna go up to this palapa and there's more carvings up there and shade. And then we'll go to the very top and see what the view looks like up there. Steps are pretty steep and it's like 95 degrees. <laughs> Feel the burn. This looks cool. It's like the first level of the temple. So 
He's saying that's a tomb. And there's more carvings. These carvings are awesome. Ancient Mayan carvings. This looks like a big jaguar mouth. Yeah, here's all the teeth. Yeah, it does. I like the, there's some women, female figures. Oh, this is really cool. They took really good care of this. This is the temple of the jaguar, so it makes sense it's a jaguar head at the top. <laughs> And then there's some people carved in there. Really cool. And looks like another tomb. And this is the view from this part of the temple. And so we started off at the base of the steps down there. And we're about halfway up the temple now. And this is like the view of the distance. Oh, so cool. <laughs> it's amazing. Don't fall. It's very flat in the Yucatan, so it's a really interesting landscape. But it's all jungle. Looks like a big hole there. It's probably like a well. well right there. Yeah, something. Yeah, something. Storage. But yeah, it looks like they built this palapa to protect the carvings, which is really cool. Really nice. It's pretty intricate. And it's pretty white, like it's still clean. <laughs> I wonder if it was always that color. Well, they said the roads were white. this white coming into the temple complex, so this is probably the same stone they used. So you can probably go in there, but it's covered right now. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Nice little house. Mm -hmm. Really cool view. And then there's a cenote we're going to visit that's somewhere over there. In a little bit. Alright, now we're gonna continue to the very top of the temple. But those carvings are amazing. There's more carvings over here. Do you want to see them? You can see them on the way down. Oh, yeah, maybe on the way down. Okay. That's cool. There's some pillars right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the pillars. Really. Perfectly round. <laughs> this is the top of the temple. <laughs> kind of thought there's gonna be more temples behind it. It's really cool. A big iguana moving right there. <laughs> Coming down is much easier. This is the top of the temple and we started off way down there and we, those are the first temples we explored when we came in and you can't even see the parking lot from here so looks really cool up here. Now we're going down the temple. It's almost it's vertical. <laughs> so these are some other carvings. We were on the other side earlier before we went up. And this is the right side. It's cool you can see inside a little more. This one has the most plants growing on it. Really cool looking. So right now we're leaving the 
um, Ekbalam Temple and we're walking back to the way we uh, came from and there's a cenote there. So definitely save the cenote for after you see the temple because you're going to be really hot and sweaty and nothing sounds better than swimming in a cenote. So do that second. But yeah, this is a really peaceful walk like to and from the temple. And I think this is the original pathway too. That's what I was reading on one of the signs. And it looks cool. So we just pay 170 pesos per person who come to this cenote. And um, this is how you say it. I probably will butcher it if I try to say it. That's a cenote. And that includes a bike and a life jacket and um, entrance to the cenote. So there's a ton of bees here. But just yeah, bike. we just gotta grab a bike and go. Yeah, I'll just cool off the seat before you go. So yeah, now we're biking and I think it's a little less than a mile to get to the cenote from the entrance of the Ek Ekbalam. <laughs> yeah, it's cool they include the bike. Yeah. And there's a little restaurant you can get fruit. Actually, I think it's a little picnic. Oh no, this is a restaurant. Cocina Yucateca. We'll probably come back there. <laughs> Only ones on biking on this road. We only saw two cars so far, so it's really nice though. And these are the white roads that they were talking about that led up to the temples. There's like a unique signature to this area. So there's another restaurant, water, cold beer, Mayan liqueurs, coconuts. Handicrafts, and you can get a tequila shot here. <laughs> oh, that was garden. Banana trees? Yeah, a yeah. bunch of banana trees growing. Really cool. Soil. <laughs> the iguana on the road coming up. Hey, I think we made it to this cenote. I think it's Shan Shanche, Shashe. Kind of keep butchering it. And then you park your bikes up here. Here's all the bicycle parking. Sukanche, Sukanche. That's how you say the cenote. So before you go into the cenote, you have to shower off any lotions and sunscreen so you don't get everything all dirty. And you do that over here. And then you park your bike here and then you can go swim down that way. Okay, just showered and I'm ready to go in the cenote, which is, I hear it, just right over here. That's really nice. It's cool. My first cenote. Yeah, this is my first cenote too. <laughs> I think we picked a good one. There's barely anyone here. I think less than 10 people are here.
There you go. Oh cool, yeah, so that's a restaurant right there, right above the cenote. Smells like a barbecue. Yeah, these plants are amazing up here, and then you look down into the cenote and this is really nice blue. So that's where we initially walked in and we walked around the cenote along the top. Yeah, I only see like four people down there. Really cool. Can yeah. I listen? Yeah. Let's go and touch it. It's like a big black depth of nothingness. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, they're up swing there. I don't know how you get, get it though. You have to, like, I think you go on that platform. Oh, there's a stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stick to it. It's cool, there's little fish inside too. Yeah, get used to it. Feels really good though. This fish one, I think. Just jump in. You want a tube? Yeah, in a little bit. You want a life jacket or Get a, a tube? workout. Just a tube. Nice. It's not that bad once you get in. It really feels really nice actually. It must look really uh, nice the colors maybe in the morning. Like right when the sun's hitting yeah. it. is really cool it's pretty quiet right now not many people here but the sun just started shining right into it so everything looks really blue and they have this waterfall which i think is a fake waterfall i think it's hooked up to a pipe but um still so cool there's melina and then there's stairs going down and then these are all roots from that tree just going straight down into the water, which is really cool. And you can see these little black fish. They look like little tiny catfish, but they're not catfish. Kind of hard to see on this camera, but they look really cool.
You can see like the reflection of the water on the top of the cave wall, which is really cool. Yeah, this is really cool. This is an awesome first cenote experience. So definitely gonna visit a lot more on this trip. And some girl just jumped from there to there. I missed it. <laughs> Yeah, this is really cool. So we just got done doing our first swim and there's a restaurant up at the top that we might check out so and then come back again for more swimming. This is really cool. This is really nice. So this is a little restaurant area. And this is Notes right there. So at this little cenote restaurant, we um, order cochinita pavia, which is what you have to try when you're in the Yucatan, and quesadillas, and then more. These are all handmade tortillas as well. So, and then we also got a jamaica and it's a salsa picante, and yeah, really simple, but good. So we just finished eating, and I think we're just gonna walk around the cenote and see what else is around here. And this was the restaurant we ate at, and it was cool. We watched a few iguanas chase each other while we were eating. Kind of fun to watch. And then there's some hammocks over there you can go hang out in. And then there's like a pathway that goes all the way around the cenote. And you can look down in. Might be hard to see, but that's the cenote right there. And yeah, so we're just going to bike back and... Maybe go back to Valladolid, so. Oh, big Lizzie on the rock. Oh yeah, look at this iguana. He's posing. See, <laughs> iguana. Okay, iguana. Hanging out on the cliff. <laughs> There's so many iguanas here. It's really cool. There's so many different birds you can hear while you're walking. Really cool. I think this is a zip line you can go on as well. So the, the bike ride tune from the cenote is actually pretty fun. It's a really cool chill ride. Just riding a bike through the jungle. 